What up everybody, Dre Baldwin, Dre all day. This is another video in the Ask the Expert series. I told y'all we was doing this series where you post your questions, you'll leave it in the comments of this video if you want. My trainer, Maria Sonoscali, is gonna come on here. She's gonna address your questions about your body and about your training for your sport. Now she's not a basketball person, but she's a training certified strength and conditioning coach. Got a ton of certifications, like a list of certifications. It's crazy. She knows her stuff. She wrote the Ultimate Athlete Program at HoopHandbook.com. She wrote the Position of Power. She wrote the Week 52 Program, those of you who know about that program. And a lot of y'all ask me, how did I get in the shape that I got in? How do I get my body to be in that? How do I get my physique to look the way that it does? How do I get in shape, conditioning, strength, power, agility, lateral movement, all of that stuff? It came from working with her. And y'all have seen the videos. I see the pictures where we working out on my Instagram and all that. It came from working with this woman. She's about to come on, address the next question in the series. So listen up, work on your game, and learn how you can work on your game better by taking her advice. Maria, you up. Dreyolday.com Hi, my name is Maria. I'm a strength and conditioning coach. I'm also a personal trainer, a group fitness instructor, a freelance writer, and I've been in the fitness industry for over 20 years. I've had the pleasure to work with Dre all day to help condition him on and off of the court to be the best athlete he possibly can. And I'm here to help you guys out there be the best athletes that you can be by answering some of the questions that you've sent in. One of the questions is, what's the number one muscle I need to develop for shooting range? Well, just as you play on a basketball team, you have a team. Your muscles also act as a team. So they all work together. So there's not one main muscle that you have to focus on. I would say to work on everything. But the main muscle groups that you should work on would be fingertip strength. So a good exercise for that is doing push-ups on your fingertips. Uh, you can change the angle. So if you're wide or close or you know, arms in, arms out, angle them. Wherever you're at doing your push-ups, try to stay on your fingertips so that you can strengthen that uh, muscle of your body. Another uh, area to strengthen would be your shoulders and your triceps. So you can do different type movements like lying on your back. It doesn't have to be heavy. Uh, you're just trying to train your body with consistent, constant stamina to really develop the triceps. So you can do band exercises, triceps, tossing the ball up in the air, laying on your back. Um, this also works into functional strength. So you can do different exercises using a medicine ball, lying on the ground, touch the ground behind you, toss it up and hit a wall, catch it, go back. So that constant range of motion, shooting uh, the ball and exploding rapidly from the tricep muscles as well as your forearms and fingertips coming from the shoulders and your core, everything is working together. So you gotta train your body as a whole. Uh, another area that you could focus on would be your leg strength because as you shoot, you're not just standing there. Your legs have to come into power, so you need that explosiveness. Uh, you could train your body by doing a great exercise as lunges or a split squat. So you'll put your back leg up on a box or a bench or something that's a little bit higher and go very deep into the lunge. You wanna make sure that the knee goes all the way down as well as all the way up. And you can change the tempo of where you go. So you don't wanna keep a constant tempo, you wanna change that tempo because as you play the game, your body's moving in all different angles, short speed, uh, short distance, long distance, quickness, slowness, so you really gotta train your muscles accordingly. So when you do your lunge, go down slow, explode up fast, and then you can reverse that. Uh, you can also add hops from the one leg being up on a bench. So these are some different ideas. Um, so you got your forearm strength, you got your functional core, you got your triceps, your legs, but everything needs to work together as a whole. Ultimately, you need to practice, practice, practice. And you can do that by using very, very little weight to increase your stamina, and that'll help you with your shooting distance. Hopefully that answers your question and helps you train your body more efficiently. You can check out my website at groovysweat.com. I have short uh, workouts that you can do for purchase. Um, they're short, efficient, and very challenging. Uh, you can also check out my training on online. I can personally train you, uh, coach you, via Skype or FaceTime. You can also check me out on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Groovy Sweat. On YouTube, I have short little clips that'll show you different exercises that you can do. I filmed them all around the world, so 
there's minimal equipment. So this is really, really great to train your body because you don't need a gym. You just need to do it at your own home. So hopefully uh, you'll check me out and you'll work on your game. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you follow all my top content up here. Follow me on all your favorite social networks right over here. And make sure you are subscribed to catch all the new content I put on on this channel every single day. Work on your game.